Welcome back to my channel, Nail Divas. It is Shonda here, Fab Diva Franklin, and I am going to show you guys how I apply a set of custom Diva Press nails. If you missed my video that was uploaded prior to um, of me making this set, I'm going to link it in the cards. It should pop up on the screen, but I'm going to show um, the YouTube world and also my customers how you apply your nails properly. So everything that you see is included in the application kit that you receive with your purchase. You get a mini nail file, um, what's not shown as a buffer. You get the nail glue, a wooden cuticle pusher, as well as alcohol swabs to help cleanse your nail bed. Um, the buffer is kind of to the right. But what I'm doing right now is using the wooden cuticle pusher to push back my cuticles. I'm leaving everything in real time and I'm not speeding it up just so you guys can see um, actually how I do it and, and how it should be done to make sure that you get proper adherence with the nail glue. Don't mind my nails. I just took off my previous set and I did not soak them off. Um, I was a little rough taking them off. So yeah, my nails look a mess, but that's why I have a press on nail line. So after you are done making sure that all of your cuticle is removed from your nail plate and it's pushed back properly, then you will move on to the next step of buffing your nails. So I did off camera use my e-file to um, quickly use a sanding band to buff um, most of my nails, but I'm going to show you um, how to do it with the buffer that is included in the kit. You just make sure that you take all of the shine off of your nail. It doesn't have to be really rough, but you do want to make sure there is no shine left on your nail. Our natural nails have oils that have that shine that leave that shiny layer on it if that shiny layer is left on there then that means that you have not buffed up enough if you have that shiny layer on there the nails are not going to adhere very well and they're going to pop off so you do need to make sure that you remove the shine completely to make sure that the nail is roughed up enough and has no oils left on the nail to make sure that the um, enhancement sticks to your nail properly so now I'm just using the alcohol wipes that you will receive in your application kit as well to cleanse off the nail bed that further dehydrates the nail and helps with adherence as well. You will get a small nail glue in your kit. Um, I am including, usually it's gonna either be McCart or KDS nail glue. Um, I think that they are the best really. Um, I've been using the McCart mostly with my kits. So the reason why you saw me wiggle my thumbs right there was because I do recommend you leaving your thumbs for last. It'll help you with applying the rest of the nails easier to, um, easier. It's just going to be easier basically. So if you leave your nails, especially if you have a longer set or something, leaving your thumbs free will help you apply the rest of your nails with more ease than having your thumbs already with the enhancement on there. So I like to start with my pinkies. As you see, I started off in the middle of my nail and I applied a good size amount of glue and I'm using the application tip of the nail glue to spread that glue around. You don't want to make the glue get to the sides and the edges of your nail um, to where it's going to spill over once you put the, um, the press on nail on, but you want to make sure there's enough glue to cover the entire surface of your nail. So as you also saw, it is very, very important to press down for the 20 seconds and hold your nail there, hold your finger on the nail, press down firmly to make sure that the nail adheres to your nail bed and that the glue is drying um, appropriately. Doing it for a couple of seconds, it may feel like it's stuck. It may be stuck, but you're not gonna get the longest wear out of your nail. So as you see, I don't know if you could see very well, but what I did was I, at an angle, pressed down towards the cuticle and then lowered the rest of the nail down towards the free edge. Okay, so that's gonna prevent you having a lot of spillage of the nail glue coming over um, onto either your cuticle area or the outsides of your nail. 
So if you do get some spillage of the glue, that's fine. Just wipe it away quickly and make sure you continue to press down on your nail for 20 seconds to make sure it dries and sticks appropriately. So you're gonna see me again, putting a nice amount of glue in the middle. I'm, I'm kind of swirling it all the way around to make sure it's getting all over the edges, very close to the cuticle, but not on it. Just making sure it's covering the entire surface of the nail. Having enough glue is important as well, because if you put too little glue, your nail is not gonna stick very well. So I'm taking the nail, I'm going close to the cuticle at an angle, then I'm pressing it down. And as I'm pressing it down, kind of in the same motion, I'm pushing it back towards the cuticle. You don't wanna push it back so much to where you're uncomfortable, but you wanna push it back enough to where it looks like it's naturally flush against um, coming out of your cuticle, like it's almost like your natural nail. Hold it down for that 20 seconds, make sure it's sticking appropriately and you are good to go. You can move on to your next nail. So I'm gonna do this with all of my nails. I'm gonna skip over the thumbs, go to the other hand. And this process, all in all, takes about 10, 15 minutes at the most if you take your time. But 10 minutes, you should be done. Press down. Get rid of any excess glue if you see some. And another tip for those of you who order sets who um, where there's clear like glass nails or um, your, your color is more sheer and not as opaque, another way to make sure that you don't have like air bubbles left is to make sure there's enough glue. That's so important. Make sure there's enough glue and pressing down. And as you're pressing down, making sure that you're pressing firmly enough to kind of get rid of any excess air that might have been trapped up under the nail and then you won't have the air bubbles there you may get some and that's okay i ended up having some on my middle finger on this right hand but i mean it's not going to be perfect every single time i make these i apply them all the time and as you're going to see in a second i, I applied my this pinky um, finger right here it's crooked but it's okay because guess what? It's stuck on there and it ain't coming off for two weeks. So it will be crooked. Nobody's gonna know unless they're really all up in my face. Not in my face, all up in my hands. That's why I did my hands like that. I'm like, oh well. So try the best you can to make it straight and get them on there looking good. But sometimes it happens. If it's a little crooked, it's not gonna kill you. At an angle, make sure you're getting close to the cuticle, then press down, and as you're pressing firmly, you kind of move the nail back towards the cuticle and make it look flush. Hold down for that 20 seconds, that's very, very important. I've been using the same glue for the last um, three or four sets. So every, every time that you purchase a set of nails, you get this application kit. But I said that to say, you, this glue is gonna last you. There's no reason why you should run out just with one application. Save it, use it again, put it in your purse or your bag, keep it with you just in case you do um, lose a nail while you're out or something like that. But for me, prep is key. As long as you prep your nail appropriately, make sure you get rid of all the shine, make sure that you're dehydrating the nail well and you have clean, a clean surface, no oily um, residue or anything left on your nails prior to starting with your um, application. And as, as long as you also have enough glue and you press firmly for the 20 seconds, your nails should last you. My nails, my last set lasted me three and a half weeks. And I'm not doing anything different than what you guys are doing. I'm using the same exact products as I sell and they work for me. So I know everybody is different. Everybody's pH is different. and. Some people's nail bed shapes are different and sometimes 
people are more rough than others, but I'm pretty rough with my hands. And I really do think that prep is one of the most important things that is going to help you um, have a long lasting set. Also choosing a, a length that's functional for you. So if I chose a really, really long length, I can't say that it would last me two and a half weeks, whether it was press-ons or anything else just because of how rough I am with my nails I would probably risk breaking them more but it's really important to just choose a length that's very functional for you After you are finished applying your set, make sure that you apply cuticle oil to hydrate your cuticles and your surrounding skin and keep them healthy and moisturized. I am using my own cuticle oil, Fab Diva Nails, in the scent Citrus. This is available for purchase. Um, you can find more information in the description bar, but you can hit me up on Facebook at Fab Diva Nails, dash Diva, Fab Diva Nails by Shonda, dash Diva Press Nails, or on Instagram at Diva Press Nails, or Fab Diva Franklin. You can DM me on either platform, but each one ounce bottle is $12. They are amazing, made with 100% pure ingredients and essential oils, and they smell amazing. I have two blends, the citrus and the floral lavender. Make sure you keep your nails and skin hydrated, moisturized, promote healthy skin and nail growth around the cuticle areas. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Um, if you are a customer of mine, please refer to this video before applying your set and enjoy your DivaPress nails. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.